Hello, my creative friends. I hope you're having a great weekend. It's a little bit cloudy and cool here. Um, I'm in Southern California and um, I don't know, maybe it's nicer where you are, but it's a, it's a little bit dreary here today. But that means it's a good day for stamping and creating cards. So I wanted to come on today and show you a card that I made yesterday. This is it. And I think it turned out really cute. This card was inspired by a card that was in the um, celebration brochure. And I'm going to show you that in just a minute. But isn't it cute? And on the inside, more butterflies and a touch of yellow. So today's special, we're going to be using uh, blending brushes, which uh, some of you may have not used before. So I think this will be fun for you. Just as a reminder, right now we have the spring catalog out. It goes from January through June. So if you do not have a demonstrator already and you don't have a mini catalog, let me know because I would be very happy to send you one. And then this is the celebration brochure. And if you don't know what celebration is, um, it's going from January through February. And anytime you purchase $50 in products before tax and shipping, you get to choose a free item from this catalog. And there are also a couple of really good items that are 100 degree, 100 degree, $100 purchase or more. So um, let me show you what we're going to be using today. We are going to use the catching butterflies stamp set and that one is free with a $50 purchase and the card that inspired me is this one right here and just as a reminder if you're looking for good ideas for paper projects the catalog is always a great place to start because they'll show you several different um, ideas for projects that you can make with the products so this one they actually made it a square card and I wanted to make a full-size card, so I adapted it just a little bit to make this one that I showed you at the beginning. All right, so let's do it. So first I'm going to start with this piece of basic white cardstock, and it is two inches wide, and it's five and a half inches long. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use these blending brushes. They are in the annual catalog and they come in sets of three. So I just use these and I didn't try to wash them out or anything. That's fine. Um, it's nice if you can devote a brush to reds and devote one to yellows and devote one to maybe blues or greens. And that way you make sure that you don't um, mix colors that you don't intend to mix. So we're gonna start with the lighter color, which is Daffodil Delight. And I'm just gonna take this blending brush and I'm going to rub it on top of the stamp pad. And pick up some ink. And then when I start to apply it on here, I'm actually going to start off of my cardstock because sometimes when you first put the blending brush to the paper it leaves kind of a dark spot because there's a lot of ink I mean even here you can see it's a little darker where I started and so you just keep loading up and adding more until you get the depth of color that you want now I'm going to actually go about two-thirds of the way across this paper And you'll see why in just a little bit. So just keep adding a little bit, makes the color richer, makes it darker. There we go, I'm pretty happy with that. So let me put this away. I'm notorious for sticking my fingers and elbows and other things into my stamp pad. So I always try to close them when I'm finished. And then this one is polished pink. So again, we're just gonna take this and rub it on the stamp pad, pick up some ink, 
and then I'm going to start applying it to my cardstock. And I'm going to go about halfway up. So I am going to be overlapping the Daffodil Delight just a little bit. And who knows what you get when you mix pink and yellow. If you can't see, it's going to become obvious here in just a minute. But you get kind of an orange color. I love this combination. It makes me think of sunrises and sunsets. So you could think of a lot of ways that you could use this technique. Okay, I am pretty happy with the way that looks. So I'm gonna put away my blending brush and I'm going to close my ink pad. And then, Oh, you know what? We are not gonna close it yet. I'm gonna bring back the yellow because there is one other thing that I wanna apply some color to. This is going to go on the inside of my card and I wanna put just a little bit of yellow down in the corner. So let's do that while we have our ink out. And I'm just gonna put a little bit right in the corner here. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Now I'm gonna close up all the ink pads. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take our stamp. We're gonna use this butterfly stamp. And remember, the stamp set that we're using is called Catching Butterflies and really the main event, if you wanna think about it that way, in the stamp set, uh, is this little girl with the butterfly net, which is really cute. And I think that sometimes we take a stamp set and we look at it and we kind of go for the most obvious stamp and we try to make that the star of all of our projects. But today I wanna show you, we're not gonna use her, we're gonna use this and one of the sentiments. So you can take any stamp from your stamp set and use it to really make a beautiful project. So for the butterflies, I'm using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So I'm gonna ink up my stamp here. Let's see. That looks like it's inked pretty well. And now I am just going to start putting some butterflies on here. How about that? Do you love it? I think this is just such a great technique. Lots of possibilities here. You could take a piece of white cardstock, use any of your ink pads to get the color palette that you wanted, and then stamp over it. All right, so you're gonna have to bear with me for just a minute as I put all these butterflies on here. I'm just kind of being random but I do want to cover the entire piece of cardstock with butterflies. So I do love the other stamps in this set. The little girl is really cute. I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I, <laughs> I loved bugs. Uh, so I loved butterflies, but I loved grasshoppers and other kinds of bugs too. So. I, I had a net and I was always trying to catch bugs. Anybody else? <laughs> or is that just me? Am I the only odd one in the bunch? <laughs> okay, wow, look at that. I just think that's so beautiful and it's not hard. It's not hard. It's a great way to customize the colors you want with whatever stamp you're using. Okay. Now, next thing is we're gonna take this piece of white cardstock and this one measures two and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just going to glue this on top. So it's going to give just a little bit of a white border on the top and bottom here. And today I'm using my multi-purpose liquid glue. And if you've 
watched me before, if you've been to one of my workshops, you know that you see I'm just kind of almost like drawing on the cardstock with a little tiny bit of glue. Because this glue is really strong, you don't need too much of it. So let's center this. And I like the liquid glue because it allows me just a moment to scoot things around if I need to. Now I'm gonna turn that over and press. Gorgeous, okay, what's next? Now let's do our sentiment. So I have done a die cut here and this is from the Tasteful Labels dies. Those are in the annual catalog. And I'm gonna use this and I'm going to use the sentiment that says celebrate every beautiful thing. So let me grab my black ink again. And I think I have that pretty good. So let me see if I can get this straight. It's a little hard for me to get right over the stamp because my camera <laughs> is, is there. So let's see, oh, okay, I did all right. I did okay. And now I'm thinking while I have this black open, remember how we took the inside of the card and we put this yellow right here. Well, let's go ahead and stamp some butterflies on that. Okay, and I'm just gonna put those right in the corner. And there we go. Okay, so that is all the stamping. All right, so the hard part's done. Or maybe the fun part, I'm not sure. Maybe both, maybe it's hard, maybe it's fun too. Now, I'm going to take my card base. This is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and I've scored it at four and a half inches. And scoring makes it easier to fold. And I'm gonna take my bone folder and just burnish this so I have a nice crisp fold on my card. Okay, now I'm going to glue this on the front and I'm going to put it a little bit off center vertically, just a little bit more toward the top than the bottom. So again, the liquid glue. So I try not to get the glue too close to the edges because when we press it down, we don't want it to smoosh out. <laughs> we don't want it to smoosh out. So let me see. I'm gonna straighten that just a little. Now you could use any adhesive that you wanted to. You could use uh, the stamp and seal tape ad adhesive. But as I said, I really like the liquid glue because it allows me to move things around a little bit if I need to straighten them up. Okay, I like that. I like the colors. All right, let's go ahead and put the inside of the card in here. And we are not too far from being done. All right, here. There we go, turn it over, make sure it's adhered well. Okay, it's coming together. Now we need to put our sentiment on the front and I'm gonna use uh, dimensionals for that. These are these little foam dots. They're self-adhesive. So I'm just gonna peel this off, whoops, and put, Let's see, I'll put one here, here. I kind of go crazy with the dimensionals. Probably could have used the smaller ones for this 
because this piece of cardstock is not very big. And then you just peel off the other side. Whoops, come off there. Okay, now I'm going to put this right about here. And it makes it just stand up from your card just a little bit. It pops up a little. All right, so in the first card I showed you, I had taken some black twine, um, actually two pieces of it, and just held them together and made kind of a double bow out of it. And then I attached it on here with a glue dot. Um, and this black twine, in case you're wondering, it comes in a package of several colors. There's black and there's tan, white, gray, and then kind of a cream colored. So that's in the annual catalog as well. It's called the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. So um, that's kind of a um, very good basic to have if you like working with twine and uh, making bows. Uh, but on this card, I think I'm going to use these in color jewels and I'm gonna use the polished pink ones that match the color of our card base. So I'm gonna use my Take Your Pick tool. And these are also self-adhesive, makes them really easy to use. I'm going to put one here. And then a smaller one here. And another small one. Let's see, up here. Okay. I like it. What do you think? Has the little bling on it with the little pink gems. Celebrate every beautiful thing. And on the inside, a uh, little detail with the yellow daffodil delight and the butterflies. And you can write your nice message in there. So, you happy? Thumbs up? Again, this is the first one that I had made and that I showed you. And let me show you a couple other ones that I made as well. So this one, I used the Daffodil Delight cardstock for the base, the same technique here in the middle, and the polished pink for the sentiment. This is some ribbon I had, it's retired now, but you know, I keep my ribbon because every once in a while, you see one that would just go perfectly with the project. So that one, and one more, I don't know why, but recently I've kind of been drawn to black cardstock. So I did one in black as well. Same technique here. I put some of the same embellishments here, but these are in the yellow color. Celebrate every beautiful thing. And again, we've got little pink hair and the butterflies. So those are the cards. And you could use any color combination that you wanted to, any color cardstock, any color ink, and really customize this to make it exactly the way you want to. So I hope that you have enjoyed that. And I want to give you just a little reminder. You can shop at my online store at CherylDorsey.StampinUp.net. And our host code for this month is AQZCGVMZ. So I'd appreciate it if you do shop that you would use that, code, that host code at checkout. Remember, this stamp set that I used today is free with your $50 product purchase. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Let me know um, if you liked this. And I will be back soon. There are some new things coming out. We've got an advanced release that I want to show you. So keep watching. Keep, um, <laughs> keep letting me know what you want to see uh, because I want to bring you the things that you like. And um, tell your friends. Tell your friends to come along with you on your stamping journey. All right. Thank you. Have a great weekend.